we needed to have a special inaugural performance uh, of these fifth graders who had just started instruments in September. So what we decided to do was make the concert about the process of learning the instruments rather than focusing on and worrying about whether we were going to have an incredible performance in December. The concert that the fifth graders presented was structured around uh, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony's Ode to Joy. The original lyrics are about friendship and fellowship and uh, humanity, which is tied in with the, with the themes um, that we were exploring. For fifth grade, we start with essential questions. Who am I in the world? Who are you in the world? And who are we? together. It came to me that combining that theme with a performance that those fifth graders, some of them were involved in, this being the first year that they were taking instrumental lessons, it might be nice for them to write reflections on who they are now that they are musicians. Trumpet has helped me a lot in swimming because it helps me conserve my breath and it helped me get out my rage because when I breathe very hard I get tired and don't feel that angry anymore. When you say the word rage, that's a really important word. So don't run through it, okay? Music has also helped me have a tighter bond with my mom. When my mom made me play piano, I started to like music more. In English, the students were studying personal narratives, looking at small moments in their lives, looking at objects in their lives that they could uh, write stories about. My role here is to try and synthesize what they learn in their academics, connect the dots, and then through the arts, bring together some sort of presentation. When you read to each other, Pretend you don't know each other, you don't know anything about each other, you've never been in this class before because the audience is not going to know who you are. Connecting to my real life, being able to use my imagination helps me to write, helps me to read, helps me to talk to other people, and almost everything else. Another goal of mine and Chacho's was uh, for this concert to be an opportunity for parents to get to know the people who have been teaching their kids. Just this week I'm getting to play the music of Columbia, some 1920s New Orleans jazz, some like weird, freaky, modern jazz, all in the space of one week. Music can take you to all these places. I suggested that the parents might be interested in hearing how an orchestra is built from bottom up. We're gonna play like the first eight measures of our Ode to Joy and see if you can hear the melody. You might not, but what's cool about what we do in orchestra is we have all these parts and then we put them all together, then it all makes sense. <laughs> As I asked them to start writing down a journal, I kept asking them why, why, why? Why was it enjoyable? What does music do for you that allows you to enjoy it? Music makes me feel underwater in the darkest corners of the world where anything is possible. The world can be broken and suffering on shore, but the water is an escape. Having a large guitar section allowed me to, uh, within the arrangement I wrote for uh, Otto Joy, give the guitar players two sections. One that plays the main melody, the, the, the theme that we all know, and another section that I told them, maybe your parents are gonna say to you, this is not the way it goes. We just happened to have Chacho Schartz, who is an incredible Latin American musician, and he just suggested maybe we do a Latin take on it. The school is at least 50% dedicated to Hispanic culture and, and Spanish, so it's a step in the right direction. In the middle of me playing, it stops. It's your lips getting accustomed to creating a trumpet embouchure 
It's going to happen. It's not going to happen just like that, but it's going to happen real soon. It really combines the mind, the body, and the soul in a way. Because you really need to use all of those to make good music. They equated uh, practicing, which is the process every day of trying to improve what you did that day and not just thinking that it was good enough. They knew instinctively they needed to get better every day. They equated that with revising. I feel like what I wrote on paper doesn't sound as good as I thought it would when I actually say That's why it's good to say it out loud and to tape it, and then you can revise it. Your mind has to listen closely and make sure the notes you're playing are right, and if they're not, it has to correct them. You must pull the bow across the strings just right and put your fingers in the right spot with the correct amount of tension to get the notes out. It requires practice, determination, and lots of hard work. I'm there for is to gently point out that they can do better because I've seen them do better. It's a teacher's job to slip in the key concepts that are that are rigorous or that lead to rigor um, at the appropriate time. Mm -hmm.